Hey, I got a question for you. I'm on the daily grind. I'm taking care of work. I'm getting paid today. I'm doing things to make it right. Is your money working for you? Or are you working for money? It's the life, it's the life I need. Welcome to the Crypto Lifestyle, ladies and gentlemen, the lifestyle where your money works for you instead of you working for money. Now, guys, in this video, I am going to be speaking about an ICO that I'm extremely excited about. It's called Credits. And I always told my people that this year is about um, the year of smart contracts, ICOs, and decentralized exchanges, okay? And Credits is a smart contract ICO, very similar to the likes of um, Ethereum, Another popular one that we all know of, obviously, is NEO. And another popular one that's um, my favorite is ICON. Um, also, EOS. Oh, there's EOS out there as well. So, guys, let's go into a little bit more detail on what these guys offer and why they are different. Why is credits different to the other existing smart contract technologies that's currently available on the market? So, first and foremost, it is a very fast blockchain as stated over here super high volume so more than 1 million transactions per second guys and they're also talking about with future scalability to up to 10 million transactions per second so what they're trying to tell us is they're, they're not stopping at 1 million per second they're going to up the bar and work on it to actually reach to, to the point where it can handle 10 million per second which is just crazy that's just crazy you know um so here we go lightning fast processing times as well so as little as about one point sorry point zero one seconds per transaction so not even a second so that's super duper fast nothing that we, ha we have ever seen before in regards to blockchain um inexpensive transaction fees as low as point zero zero one usd per transaction guys not even a cent so the fees are very very inexpensive and nominal um, smart contracts capabilities, new advanced functionalities with developer friendly interface and programmability. We would get to that in a second. Um, there's a lot of good things about this. And okay, just give me a second here. I'm going to try to go by it one by one. So they go a little bit more into detail on what credits is. And as I alluded to, it's a smart contract um, with their own blockchain. So, you know, I want to read that for you guys. As we scroll down here, like what I really do like though is right here, guys. This is just crazy stuff. So their advanced application programming, also known as API, that's been there from the day one. So that's pretty cool. But when we actually look at this aspect, they're actually coded in Java. So their computer language is Java. And that's pretty much the worldwide or the universal language for programming. So anybody, no matter if you... Okay, so for example, Ethereum, that's on a Solidity. Um, computer language so anybody who knows Java will have to learn Ethereum's um, computer language in order to work with it or code with it but for everyone out there so these uh, developers out there they already know Java it's like saying you know we speak English but you want to go to say Italy you gotta know it's a little bit Italian but English is the universal language right same with Java so anybody this could be mass adoption could take place literally overnight so once that happens, the scalability is crazy. And um, that just makes it easier for everyone. And the exposure it would get is it's going to be just through the roof. So that's a really, really key, important there. Selling point, absolutely. That, that's a very, very valuable selling point in my opinion. It just takes away a lot of the learning curves for the developers. And they can adapt to this because they already know Java inside out. So that's pretty cool there. So when we're looking at this as well, guys, so check this out, all right? So this is credits, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So a transaction volume, more than 1 million transactions per second. Okay. Bitcoin is only 7 transactions per second. Ethereum, only 300 transactions per second. Um, in all, to be fair, um, and in all honesty, EOS, they also... Um, claim to have 1 million transactions per second and I think those claims are very accurate so you know you got to give kudos to EOS as well that's probably why I didn't put EOS on the list here <laughs> but you know what stands you know what kind of separates credits from EOS is their scalability so they're claiming that how they would be able to hit 10 million transactions per second which is just out of this world um, transaction execution speed we got as as fast as 0 0.01 seconds Bitcoin is 10 minutes um, Ethereum is 30 seconds to 5 minutes. So that's pretty cool there, guys. They are just blowing them out of the water there. 
Also, transaction costs is 0 0.001 in comparison to Bitcoin. It is 10 US dollars and um, Ethereum, Ethereum is 0.121 dollar. So they just blow them out in all categories. Then we got the smart contracts, autonomous cycles. Yes, yes, Bitcoin has obviously they don't have a smart contract and Ethereum does not have these things as well. So that is just really, really, really crazy. But now check this out. So all these things that they are saying, is it true? Is it verified? Yes, it is. That's another crazy point. So they've been audited by, we got here, um, Entersoft, okay? So EntersoftSecurity.com, we could check that out, uh, you know, verify if they're a real company. Also the Columbia, University of Columbia, okay? Blockchain Lab. So whatever, all these claims that they are making over here in regards to their transaction speed and low, low nominal transaction fees, it has been verified by these auditors. So yeah, it's, it's, it's true what they're saying. That's, that's unbelievable. Also, when we go here, they got a minimum viable product. So it's pretty much like a prototype. So you could actually test their blockchain and see what they're saying is true, okay? So, hey guys, if you guys wanna test it out, you know, come over, just, you know, create your wallet, open wallet, what have you, and you can test it out, see what they're saying is true. So that's pretty cool, guys. Now let's go to another point that I like, and I believe that might be here. Just give me one second. The ICO information, which should show us. So the hard cap was 20 million. I just wanted to show you guys for your own. Okay, so right here, hard cap 20 million. And in my opinion, that's what I like to hit. 20 million to say 25 million is the sweet spot in my opinion, okay? So when we're looking at this, guys, we don't want a company that's trying to raise extra money. It kind of shows that they're in it for themselves and not really the investors, or they don't want to have a real impact in the world. Right? A technology that's just going to be groundbreaking, that's just going to change the way we live. Okay, They're really in it for themselves. So, you know, you see something like, you know, 50 million hard cap and all these ridiculous numbers, it's not a good sign. So I really do love this as well. That's a great selling point, 20 million. Um, I was taking a look at 20 million hard cap, which will take them to, uh, the market cap rather, would be around here. Where are we? So we, we would, it will put them at uh, 381. Okay, so you know traders they say they don't look at the US dollar value. They only look at the Satoshi So when you're going into an ICO, you don't really look at the USD price You look at the market cap. Okay, and then from there you can kind of like now This is just your guesstimations You could just go up and see where you what you think they will be and with all these things in place They got a working product um, Just the, these crazy technological advancements in smart contracts with the with the transaction speeds and how much they could take per second um i think this is really really undervalued and it, in my opinion it's an ico i'm definitely going to get in guys now how do you get into this ico this ico starts on february 15th it initially was supposed to start february 1st but they have pushed over the days to february 15th i highly recommend you guys get white listed if you're interested into this ico that being said i am only showing you guys what i am doing right okay this is just my opinions and i'm just showing you guys what's available on the markets this is no recommendation okay so um there you have it man yeah get white listed it's going to take you about two to five days and I and I think they're gonna reserve the, the, the coins for us, the tokens for us rather. Um, this is via the Ethereum blockchain, so you're gonna need your Ethereum to get in. Okay, right here, ICO the 15th. Okay, guys. So that's all I have for you. You know, I really appreciate your um, thumbs up. If you like this video, you could also give me some comments at the bottom. You know, let me know your feedback and let's take it from there, guys. There's no referral link here. This is just straight knowledge I'm sharing with everybody, all my followers. We got to Put our money and diversify and get in, get into some some um, blockchain startup companies that are now going on the blockchain and those are the ones I am looking forward to to investing. So until the next video, guys, you're on your own. Later.